British Airways to fly to Guyana. IDB loaned 150 million US for East Bank Road upgrade. Police upgrade charges to murder. And millions more for Guy Suka. I am Noriko Portford, and this is Uncut News. Do you see news happening? Send us a tip on WhatsApp at 592-659-6151. British Airways will begin twice-weekly service from Georgetown to London in 2023, but tickets are expected to go on sale from this week. However, there will not be direct flights from Guyana to London, since the aircraft will stop in St. Lucia along the way. Police in Sofia busted two armed robbery suspects on Monday. According to the GPF, the officers found several electronic devices at one of the suspects' home, all suspected to have been stolen. The teen suspects were taken into custody. However, that same day, officers then raided the homes of two more men who they also arrested with suspected stolen goods. Last night, 27-year-old Ryan Joseph and 29-year-old Bimal Versami were hospitalized in a stable condition after two masked men opened fire on them at Melanie Public Road on the east coast of Demerara. The two victims were shot multiple times while a third man escaped unharmed. The police say they have opened an investigation into the shooting. On Monday, Kanu busted five persons, including a police sergeant, after just over three pounds of cocaine was found in a house on Norton Street in Georgetown. Kanu says they raided the home of Andre Clark, who Kanu described as a known drug trafficker. The others in custody were identified as police sergeant Dion Bascom, 26-year-old Akeem Lashley, 18-year-old Serena Mentis, and 54-year-old Rodwell George. Charges are expected to be laid soon. Now it's time to tell you about Best Buy's Car of the Week. Currently on sale is the 2016 Suzuki Jimmy Sierra four-wheel drive. It comes with regular and low-range four-wheel drive, Bluetooth, mug rims, new tires, TV, CD, stereo, fog lamps, spot camera, and much, much more. Buy cash for $3.4 million, or pay as low as $700,000 down, with around $67,000 monthly for five years, and it is yours. Call or WhatsApp 662-0844 for more info, or visit the showrooms at Lot 171, Peter Roche, Queenstown, a lot to Lama Street and tell them that we sent you for this sweet deal. Guyana has received a U.S. $115 million loan from the IDB to upgrade 23.5 kilometers of the East Bank Demerara Public Road from Grove to Tamiri. So when the project is completed, it would provide an improved road corridor from Georgetown to Tamiri. The Grove to Tamiri section of the East Bank Demerara Road was last rehabilitated and widened in 1996 through a loan operation financed by the IDB. And although there have been maintenance interventions over the years, the road has since reached the end of its design life. Yesterday, Edgel said that the government will not approve any increase for fares for transportation, whether by river, sea, or road. This follows recent demands from both Demerara speedboat operators and local minibus drivers to raise fares, citing increased costs. However, Edgel says the speedboat owners are beneficiaries of several government concessions, including the removal of fuel taxes and the removed cost of electricity and water because the government was absorbing the increase, all of which he says they directly benefited from. The GPF says a team of officers at the Mazaruni prison were cleaning the kitchen on Tuesday afternoon when they stumbled upon a white salt bag with three kilos of ganja hidden behind the western side of the kitchen wall. The police have since opened an investigation. However, no arrests were made. According to Starbrook News, the DPP should have the file on the accident which claimed the life of 42-year-old Odessia Sam and severely injured her friend Wendell Udkup. The Ghana Police Force says the investigation is still open. As such, the file was expected to be sent to the DPP for advice before the end of the day. Let's see how that turns out. Speaking of the DPP, after receiving advice from the DPP, the prosecution upgraded the manslaughter charge against 23-year-old Dave Singh to murder charges. Today, Singh was charged for the August 1st murder of 53-year-old Vikram Sibaram. Last Friday, Singh was released on $750,000 bail, but since the charge has been upped to a non-bailable offense, he will now be remanded to prison until September 13th, 2022. So you need parts for your truck and you looked your eyeballs out and can't find it? Did you check Powered Automotive? Get high quality Dart, International, Freightliner, Bedford TM or Scammel truck parts at the lowest prices at Powered Automotive. Visit them at lot 1161 EE Eccles or call them on telephone number 6970171. 
Save big on truck parts at Powered Automotive, the number one heavy-duty truck parts store in Guyana. Despite announcing several weeks ago that Guyana will be scaling back its importation of Rona vaccines, the Ministry of Health has received another donation from America of 52,800 Pfizer injections for children. Even though children Rona vaccination levels are relatively low nationwide, Minister Anthony said the contribution is, quote, timely, since the country's pediatric vaccines were exhausted since July month end due to the demand for the job. Thus far, the U.S. has provided Guyana with 354,660 shots in total. That's a lot of shots. Last evening, Parliament passed the Mental Health Bill 2022. This bill repeals the mental health ordinances of 1930. Instead, the new legislation brings a modern approach to the way that mental health patients are treated, including respect for their rights, ostensibly, which aligns with all the major international instruments relating to the rights of people with mental health disorders. This also includes the decriminalization of suicide. Siraj Ganpat, the man accused of murdering his ex-wife, 24-year-old Cindy Ramchandar, on Monday morning, reportedly confessed his guilt to a relative of the deceased. According to Starbrook News, the police found his car abandoned in the East Kanji Burbis area yesterday. He is still on the run from the law. It might not be robbery season, but the streets are still mean. That's why you need to get security for your home and business through Sheriff Security Service. Sheriff Security offers well-trained guards, armed and unarmed patrol, marine patrol, canine services. These people even got drones. Why? Because your security is their highest priority. You've seen the rest. Now hire the best. Hire Sheriff Security Service today. Just over two weeks after he told Stoprick News that the rights violations in Chinese landing and Isenuru had been identified as an, quote, immediate priority for the newly formed National Two Shouts Council, Chair Derek John has now stated that the communities must now write the council requesting an official intervention. Both Chinese Landing, Region 1, and Isenaru, Region 7, have taken the government before international commissions seeking relief for the plethora of rights violations they say they have experienced and continue to experience, especially on the behalf of gold miners in the area. The airport is back to pre-pandemic travel numbers, with 354,961 passengers having transited through the CJIA as of July 22nd. This is a 94% increase when compared to the 183,063 passengers during the same period in 2021. Arrivals reflected a 97% increase, while departures reflected a 91% increase. In 2021, a total of 359,350 passengers had traveled to the airport for the entire year, compared to 182,736 in 2020. Just one day after the Ministry of Agriculture secured over $5.4 billion in supplementary funding from the government, it has signed over $610 million in contracts, and $426 million out of that amount is for works at Gaisuko. On Tuesday, a total of 13 contracts, six of them related to Gaisuko, were signed. The six Gaisuko contracts were mainly for the recapitalization of its operations, especially at Rose Hall and Eiffel. Now for our uncut news, Fuel's poll question of the day. Every day we pose a question about current events in Guyana, the region, the diaspora, and how you feel it relates to us. Last night I asked about how you feel about hemp legalization. Do you think it will actually bring a difference for the poor farmers, or will the usual suspects be the ones who benefit? Laura Mipsum says the usual suspects will be the primary benefactors as always. Why would anything change? Sadly enough, I believe you're correct. Richie K says, first hemp, then the long-awaited legalization of cannabis. Maybe, but I really don't think this government is cool enough to ever do that, but we'll see. You can multiply your cash by selling Digicel Topper. This is a legit way you can earn some extra money at your business or to supplement your current hustle. Become a top offender quick and easy by linking with Cellular Plus. Call them on telephone number 685-3109 for more info. Now for tonight's question. Since I ask about hemp, you already know I have to ask your thoughts about ganja. Should it be legalized, decriminalized, or should it just stay illegal? And why? I want you to think about that question and tell us in the comments below. If your response is good enough, we just might feature it in our next episode. Anyway, that's all the time we have for tonight, and check us out tomorrow for another. Until then, I'm Rico Paul Ford saying goodnight, folks.